couple of our Cub Scout members from uh, PAC 155 and Dr. June Richland, who will lead us in our pledges. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, and a God, and a visible, and a unity address it from. Now for the Texas pledge. Honor the Texas pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state, honor God, one and invisible. Okay, next, I believe we have our recognitions of the valedictorian salutatorian. Yes. Uh, Mr. Board President, tonight our Val could not be with us. However, I know that Ms. Williams has a presentation of our salut salutatorian. Good evening, Board President Romo, Ms. Smith Faulkner, Superintendent Faulkner, and board members and esteemed guests. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity to celebrate the CHS salutatorian for the class of 2023. At this time, if Hajur Zagul will join me at the podium. Hajur is the daughter of Shadia Smady and Hussein Zagul. She has been a lion for 11 years in CISD schools. She attended A.V. Cato Elementary, Irma Marsh Middle School, and Castleberry High School. She has been very busy in her four years at CHS, involved in many activities and academics. She is a member of the National Honor Society, a member of the National Technical Honor Society, a member of the Superintendent Student Advisory Committee. She has taken many advanced courses, including AP courses in world history, computer science, environmental science. You can see at the very top, esteemed credits and GPA are outstanding. 34 and a half credits with a GPA of 5.336. She has additional dual credit courses through on-ramps in the University of Texas in English Composition and Rhetoric, Biology, Chemistry, Physics, College Algebra, U.S. History, Computer Science, and Statistics. She has other dual credit classes through Texas State Technical College in Accounting and through TCC in Government, Economics, and British Literature. Her future plans are to attend Vanderbilt University or TCU and major in neuroscience. At this time, we give her At this time, I'd like to recognize mom. You can see she's very proud. Would you like me to take a picture of the queen? Okay, you both. And again, this is Hajar Zagul, salutatorian for CHS. Okay, next we will have recognition of fine arts students. Yes, Mr. Board President, we have uh, Mr. Stephen Moss, Director of Fine Arts, who will introduce students from both Irma Marsh and CHS, who will, and recognize the students and staff for their accomplishments, I believe, in art and band and choir, mariachi and theater. Good evening, President Romo, Superintendent Smith Faulkner, and Board of Education. My name is Melissa Tobias, and I'm representing CISD Fine Arts. It is always an honor to come before you to share and celebrate all the spring accomplishments of the Casper ISD Fine Arts Department. Did you know that CISD Fine Arts has prepared for and presented at over 150 events 
for a total of over 2,200 collective hours of preparation, presentation, and performance as artistic ambassadors of Castleberry ISD. Our mission is to represent Castleberry ISD with the spirit of excellence. With your support, our fine arts family has created stronger connections and strengthened our reputation within our district, community, and state to make us all better together. None of this would be possible without your support and encouragement. Thank you. My name is Jocelyn Hernandez, and we are here to proudly represent the CISD Choir Lion Program. CHS Choir has had a successful year with our UIL performances and festivals. Our CHS Lion Choirs earned excellent ratings at the UIL Concert Contest. Our IMMS Varsity Lion Choir earned superior ratings, and our IMMS Non-Varsity Choir earned excellent ratings at the UIL Concert Contest. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Celeste Robles, and we are proudly here to represent the CISD theater program. IMS, IMMS Lion Theater Jr. won the UIL One Act competition, along with bringing home awards and best crew, three honorable mention, all-star cast members, two all-star cast members, and both best performing awards. CH, CHS Lion Theater had an impressive performance at UIL One Act competition, bringing home awards and a standing crew, honorable mention, all-star, and all-star cast. CHS Lion Theater has also had three students advance to UIL State Theatrical Design Competition. Out of 126 high school representatives, Castleberry's very own Celeste Robles earned a sixth place in state in medaled in costume design category, and Edwin Fernandez earned a fifth place in state in medaled in marketing category. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Melissa Tobias. My name is Ariana Nereso. And my name is Jolette Nava. We are here to proudly re represent the CISD Lime Band Program. The IMMS Lime Band Program had a very impressive spring concert season. Both of our IMMS concert bands made straight superior ratings at the UIL Concert Contest. Additionally, the beginner band, concert band, and symphonic bands earned straight first division ratings at the Epic Waters Band Festival. The CHS Lion Band program also had an impressive spring concert season. Both of our CHS concert bands earned straight first division ratings at UIL Concert and Sight Rating Contest and brought home the coveted UIL sweepstakes awards for both bands. The CHS Varsity Concert Band also advanced to the 2024 UIL State Win Ensemble Festival for the first time in our school's history. The festival will be held at the University of Texas in Austin in May of 2024. The concert Bands have also submitted recordings to compete in the Mark of Excellence National Concert Band Festival this summer for the first time. Thank, Thank you. you. Good evening, my name is Isabel Mendez. My name is Sara Caldera. We are here to proudly represent the CISD Mariachi program. The I'm a Mes Los Cachorros Mariachi program had an outstanding showing at the Forward ISD Mariachi Extravaganza. Varsity earned straight superior ratings, ratings and our select group earned an excellent rating. The CHS Los Leones Mariachi program had an impressive spring. CHS Los Leones earned straight first division ratings at the UIL Mariachi Contest and brought home the coveted UIL Sweepstakes Award. Earning the sweepstakes allowed us to advance to the UIL State Mariachi Festival for the first time in school history. We also earned the highest ratings at the UIL State Festival and brought home two Outstanding Musician Awards for both our heart flavors. We also competed in the Fort Worth ISD Mariachi Extravaganza. Our varsity mariachi group earned straight first divisions and our non-varsity group earned an excellent rating. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Celeste Robles. My name is Melina Esparza, and we're here to proudly represent the CISD Visual Art Program. The elementary art programs participated in the Texas Elementary Art Meet for the first time in our district's history. We had 26 entries with 16 perfect scores and two top team awards, which represents the top 10% of all 500 entries. 
Ima Metz also participated in the TAEA Visual Art Scholastic Event Competition held in Keller ISC. We had several entries with all but one entry receiving the top rating and one student receiving a platinum rating, which allowed her artwork to be displayed at the TAEA, TAEA State Race Competition. CHS Art participated in the TAEA Vase competition held in Eagle Mound, Saginaw ISD. We had the largest number of entries of all participating districts, including 6A students with an astonishing total of 110 entries. Of those entries, CHS Art also had the largest number of perfect score medalists with 80, 80 students total. One of our students was even selected to advance to the TAEA State Vase competition in San Marcos, where she earned a superior rating. We also entered the TAEA Youth Art Month flag competition for the first time in school history. After over 500 entries composed primarily of 5A and 6A schools throughout the state of Texas were adjudicated, our very own Celeste Robles was selected as the winner of the entire contest. The flag will be used on all signage for the Texas Art Education Association for the 2023 to 2024 school year. Thank you. As you can see, Castleberry ISD Fine Arts is thriving due to the combined support of our CISD Board of Education, our wonderful administration, staff, and community. Our recent selection as one of the only three 4A districts in state for the best communities for music education reflects the unwavering support of the arts. Better Together is not just a slogan at CISD Fine Arts. Whether we are collaborating and performing for my Parker, partnering with River Oak Spring Fest and performances, for an art show, cooperating with local businesses to provide top-notch entertainment, or even, join, or even joining forces with CHS and Casper Elementary to paint a mural in the cafeteria. Casper ISD Fine Arts strives every day to build strong bonds throughout our dynamic district and community. Our Fine Arts Department would like to extend a personal invitation to our board members and Ms. Smith Faulkner for our annual CISD district art show. At this time, we would like to ask our amazing fine arts staff and parents to stand up as we thank them for their support. This is yet another reason to choose Casbury ISD because we are better together. Thank you. Okay, we will continue with more recognitions, uh, athletics and staff. Uh, yes, Mr. Board President tonight, Dee Dee Pierce, Director of Athletics, <clears throat> has students from Casper High School and Armour Marsh Middle School who will be re uh, recognized for their accomplishments in athletics. Good evening. I'd like to thank President Romo, Superintendent Ms. Smith Faulkner, and the board for allowing us to bring our winter and spring sport um, student athletes that have excelled in advance to the regional uh, tournaments or the regional playoffs, as well as breaking school records and earning scholarships. We'll start off tonight with our boys basketball program. Coach Beasley is in his 23rd year of teaching and coaching and his 18th year at CHS. He serves as our head cross country coach, as well as our head boys basketball coach. He also teaches human world geography. He's married to his wife, Patty, and they have three children, Brooke, Sam, and Lily. Tonight we have senior Eddie Hernandez representing the basketball program. Eddie was a unanimous first team all district selection for the second straight year. He was recently chosen to participate in the 31st annual Chicken Express All-Star Game held in Mineral Wells this spring. Eddie represented Castleberry well as he went on to win the three-point contest and earned a $2,500 scholarship from the Mineral Wells Chicken Express. Eddie will also be added to the CHS boys basketball record wall with the fifth highest career scoring total in CHS history with 1,465 points. 
Up next is our powerlifting program. I would like to introduce Josh Wardlow. Coach Wardlow has been in CISD for four years, and this is his 18th year in education. He teaches lifetime fitness and wellness and is the varsity football defensive coordinator and head powerlifting coach. Josh is married to his wife, Melissa, and they have a son named Jordan and a daughter, Addison. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, tonight we have our girls and boys regional qualifiers in powerlifting. Each one of these individuals set new personal records in squat, bench press, and deadlift uh, throughout the season. Uh, we have a special young lady with us tonight that her teammates wanted to honor. Nyla Leal, step forward, please, is a junior on the powerlifting team that is proving to be a fighter and a competitor in the game of life. We want to show her our support and honor her as she battles one of life's toughest challenges. Nyla, keep fighting hard. We are with you. Thank you. We will... We will start with our girls that qualified for the regional meet, which was held at Kennedale High School. Girls regional qualifiers, please step forward as I call your name, Aaliyah Barbosa. <laughs> Elamar Mojica. Elamar finished fifth at the regionals in the 114 weight class. Janeth or Orantia. Janice finished fourth in the 123 weight class at Kennedale. Jalen Russ, Daisy Vital, Haja Zagor. Come on up, girl. <laughs> Special lady right here. Uh, we had th uh, we had a. Uh, three boys qualified. Only one could be with us tonight. The uh, meet was held at Decatur. Our boys' regional qualifier was Frank Pastusik. Thank you. Next, we have our middle school girls track. I would like to introduce Renee Young, who is our girls coordinator at Irma Marsh Middle School. Renee is in her second year in CISD and her 29th year in education. She coaches volleyball and track and teaches physical education. Her husband is Phil and they have two grown children, Ansley and Riley. Good evening. At the Big Five track meet of champions, eighth grader Abigail Bundia, was the 100 meter hurdle champion setting a new school record of 16.8 seconds. This record was held for 31 years and was set in 1992. Abigail also finished third in the 300 meter hurdles with a time of 52 seconds. And she tied the 25 year old record that was set in 1998. On top of the hurdles, she was also a member of the 4 by 100 relay team that finished fifth at the Media of Champions. Good job, Abigail. Next is our boys track program. I'd like to introduce Juan Silva. Coach Silva is in his 24th year of teaching and coaching. He is completing his fourth year at Castleberry as head football coach and head boys track coach, and is also the boys athletic coordinator. He is married to his wife, Rachel, and they have four children, Chandler, Matt, AJ, and Candace. <clears throat> we took a large group of boys to the regional track meet this year in Lubbock. We had Saul Becerra, who was the district champion and the area champion in the discus. We had Miguel Rojas, who also qualified in the discus. We had Alex Valise, who qualified in the 400 meter dash. And then we took our four by four relay team, which included Alex Valise, Miguel Huerta, Jose Alvarado, Riley Bentley. And then we have our two alternates for that team, which were Giovanni Paradas and AJ Silva. These guys ran <coughs> the fastest time in 20 years at Castleberry, running a 332 in the four by four relay just six seconds shy of the school record, which was set in 1989. So 
very proud of these guys and what they did. Really came late in the year and able to get those guys qualified and, and get to regionals. I would like to introduce Timothy Gillespie. Coach Gillespie has 12 years ex of experience in education and coaching. He is completing his fourth year in Castleberry ISD and coaches football and track. He is currently teaching special education. He and his wife, Madison, have a one-year-old son named Thomas. Uh, tonight, I have Anna Medina, <coughs> a senior who was the District 8-4A discus champion with a throw of 134 feet, which was a personal record. She went on to win the area track meet in the discus with a throw of 132 feet and qualified for the UIL regional track meet in Lubbock. <clears throat> Anna finished third at the regional meet with a new personal record of 136 feet and six inches. <clears throat> this throw qualified her as the wild card for the state track meet. It was the best third place throw in the state of Texas. She will compete at the 4A UIL state track meet in Austin on this Thursday. We also have three athletes up here. We have Anna Medina, we have Riley Bentley, and we have Elmar Mojica that would like to share a little bit about their experience with athletics. Hello, my name is Anna Medina, and I was asked what it meant to be um, a track athlete or be in Castleberry, and I said, being a Castleberry athlete to me means you have to have grit and determination. We are seen as the underdogs in everything we do, so being able to prove people wrong and show them what I can do is great. A big way I have proven people wrong is making it to regionals and qualifying for state, which truly shows that Castleberry does have grit and determination. Hello everybody, my name is Riley Bentley. Uh, I'd like to share a few words about what my experience was like. Uh, qualifying for regionals is one of the best achievements in my high school athletic career. We placed third in our district meet and we knew all we had to do was place third again to go to regionals. As I watched my teammates run the first, third and fourth leg and stay in the top three, I knew we made it. I'm so proud to be part of an amazing four by four team that qualified for the regional meet and competed well an experience that none of us will ever forget and one we will recreate next season. Good evening, everyone. My name is Alima Mujica. And being able to compete at the regional meet and finishing top five in my region was a huge accomplishment um, and an overall great experience. I am very proud to represent CHS at a top level of competition, and I'm very thankful for all the support through all of it. Thank you. We would also like to recognize any parents that we have of these uh, athletes tonight. Thank you for allowing us this opportunity to come brag a little bit about these great athletes. Thank you. So on, on behalf of the board, students, thank you so much. And presenting Casperberry the way that you do. It's uh, truly amazing the accomplishments that you've done. Uh, and we look forward to more, right? You're, you're setting the bar high. Uh, so uh, as we move forward, we... We expect more and more students to be in here. Uh, parents, thank you so much for being here and supporting them. Uh, I know that means a lot to them. It means a lot to us as well. Uh, and last but not least, staff, the, 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 the long hours, uh, the dedication that you guys do to make Casper better together is just truly amazing. And you guys are, are the root cause of that. And uh, we can't thank you enough for that well. So thank you all very much. So we, we will do some pictures. We will start with the uh, salutatorian. Almost started crying, I didn't. <laughs> we will start with the salutatorian and then we will do the uh, fine arts and then we will go to the athletics. <laughs> 